Thank you guys so much, and we'll be right back after this with more news by the traffic. You guys rock! And I'm sandwiched between, we are, like, speaking of sandwich, the pizzas I'm bringing back, oh, so delicious. Um, but we, I'm sandwiched right now between two of the members of Brandon Paris Band. Of course, this is Brandon Paris. And uh, this is the Griff. Yep, yep. The Griff. The, the Griff, or yeah. the Griff. The Griff. The Griff. What's your last name? Griffiths. So your whole name is? The Griff. <laughs> Year, right? Like Madonna. <laughs> okay. You're the artist. Okay, we're uh, of course. Thank you guys, first of all, so much for joining us this morning. Um, there's been Boston pizza's been awesome. Yeah. Where have you guys? Are you full of pizza? Are you good? No, I need more. Are you good? I'm totally fine. Awesome. Okay, we're talking about this is the first. This is the debut, the, de the debut CD uh, for Brandon Paris Band. They're from Vancouver. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, of course, we've been hearing from them all morning long. We're going to hear one more time from them throughout before the morning is over. But uh, this experience as being in, being in this band, talk a little bit about that three years in the making. Yeah, three years in the making. Uh, well, basically, I started um, solo, and uh, I, I was playing in a concert, and the bass player sitting over there, he uh, he saw me and said, hey, you want to change up, uh, let's record in my home studio and said okay and uh, you know he comes from a background of like a pretty hard rock and and he started we recorded it changing it up a little bit and uh, by the time uh, we finished I thought well you know what I'm used to having like I have a background uh, listening to music like reggae and rock and different types of music and and so I decided you know I'm gonna call up a, a reggae artist and see if uh, I can mix some rock with the reggae and so this guy sit next to me is he that is he the reggae in yeah, but actually before I got to him, I tried looking for so many reggae artists and a lot of them were like, no, I'm not going to lose my credibility and do that. So so I looked, yeah, yeah. So so you came into the mix. Yeah, I wasn't the first choice, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. My feelings are not hurt, but I'm here. So, uh, what, so talk about the first time you worked with him and what, and sort of how you blend. I mean, you work so well together, almost to the point of where they're sharing this microphone this morning. I would say they're even spooning each other while singing. Oh, absolutely. Well, actually, we first came across each other. We went to the same studio, um, but we never really knew each other. And it was just one day I got a phone call from him, you know, asking me to um, be a part of his uh, one of one of the songs. So I said, okay. I was just coming out of the hospital with a busted head, so I wasn't in the mood. But I so said, you were delirious, and you said yeah. yes. Yeah, and I, and I, yeah, exactly. And I listened to the song, and I said, okay, how can I get in there without really taking anything away from from him? Because he was, he had a beautiful voice, and I thought, yeah, this would be really cool. So I like challenges. So I came up with the lyrics, called him up. Um, he liked it. We recorded it. The next thing I know, there's another one coming on my uh, computer. So, so do you, I mean, reggae, rock, rock, reggae? How do you guys work songs together? Do you like reggae rock each other out? <laughs> we don't. We don't really know what what we what like. We have our own sound, I think, because radio stations had a, a hard time trying to fit us in and go well. Our rock station likes your music, but we're not sure if we like the reggae. And vice versa with uh, top boy stations. But later on, they're listening and they see how many fans we have and how good we are live. And and what happened is, also, everyone started playing us. So we're playing on on so many different types of radio stations right now. That's awesome. And you know what, you guys put on. I've heard the word. The word is they're going to come back in the spring for another tour. Yep. And I'm. Um, Edmontonians can't miss it because the word is you guys are a phenomenal stage show. That means come see us real soon now. <laughs> in, 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 in Alberta, come see us now, you hear? <laughs> this is the CD we're going to be hearing from them momentarily. There they are. There's their CD release. Thank you so much for that. Thanks, guys. We're going to hear from them one more time before the morning's out. And uh, we're going back to the kitchen right now because Rob's feeling a little bit crabby. Crab cakey. One one favorite. Can you swing it around? I just want to thank my road manager over there. Oh, Papa yeah. Miles. Oh, Papa. Miles. We have to show Papa Miles. Okay, there he is. There's the road manager. <laughs> there he is. All right, close up.